I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. But them vets view you as a pest, now you pessimistic. Because on the legend list, y'all have never been on the same page in the index position. That's why in the end, when you're booked, you're not referenced with them. Desert Storm, shotgun to his chest. How close do I gotta be to make a clean hole when it blasts into you? Don't mind me, I'm asking for the 12. Like a Vlad interview. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. He will be back in the building real soon. So I just wanted to just go over this uh, uh, ultimate madness, ultimate madness to um, the bye week. The battles that went down was uh, Reaper Rail versus Steams and JC versus Kid Chaos. The majority of this recap will be spent on um, JC versus Kid Chaos. I got a lot of positive things to say about that. Uh, Reaper Rell and Steams. Uh, Reaper said that they only had a week for the battle to prepare, and um, it sounded like they had a week for, to prepare. Uh, Reaper stumbled and fumbled through most of his rounds. Both of them choked in a second. It was just like not a good battle overall. Uh, I think Steams got it 1-0. He might have got through the he got through the first round clean. Then after that, it was all over the place. But um, salute to both of them, you know what I'm saying? It was what it was. Uh, seven days is not a lot of time to prepare for a battle. So, um, JC versus Kid Chaos. So, we're moving into this whole Rookies versus Vets season. I seen the trailer next for Cortez versus Easy to Block Captain. That should be another interesting battle. I do have notes. I do. Yeah, y'all be thinking that I can't. I still can do this. I still know how to break these down. But uh, Showtime SP has made a name for himself doing a lot of the breakdowns and the bar for bar recaps. But don't worry. When he's not around, I can still get down. Um, so, Kid Chaos comes into this battle. A lot of people had him as the underdog. Um, JC, we hadn't heard from him in a little while, and many people thought he would be mad. I thought he would be too because um, Shotgun Shook had just lost his battle versus Jaden Nightwing. And I said that, JC, you cannot let the vets go down 0-2. You gonna let this little nigga hold you and let the vets go down 0-2? Oh, no. So, Kid Chaos comes out his first round, and he was heavy angle based. Like, a lot of his rounds was like super, super angle based. But he had like some strong angles, then he had another angle, that, like it, it, was, it was good stuff. So he said, uh, in the end, you're booked, but not referenced with, saying that, you know, you're booked, but you're not referenced with the big guys. The, you're booked, but you're not referenced. And then he was saying, you know, he, 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 he did a whole library scheme. And his schemes weren't as long as they used to be, where he was taking from A to Z just to get to B. He had shorter schemes, but he had dope punches and phenomenal material. The pen was certainly working. I will say that about Kid Chaos. He definitely was working. He said, earn you a check now you're trying to earn their attention. So he was talking about JC as far as with the vets, as far as with the Sioux Surfs, the bigger names, saying that you know, you're know you letting them tell you where you should be when it should be the other way around because you've done so much with your career and you have a pen and you're one of the elite writers in battle rap. I loved it. Uh, he said, neighborhood don't want you around, so you're not welcome in your house. Saying neighborhood is in the neighborhood crit, um, surface neighborhood. They don't want you around, so you're not welcome in the house. Uh, he said, cooking, snatch your respect as a star. He said, uh, you the one with the pen, stop letting them tell you where you are. Like, you're the one with the pen, so stop letting them tell you where you are. Kid Chaos, you are cooking in your first, I'm not gonna lie. I said, if JC was light, in this battle, Loso Light, he would probably have a tough time with Kid Chaos because Kid Chaos came, he was smoking out the gate. But uh, JC was very mad. He was very angry. He felt some type of way about the criticism, about all of the talks, and about a lot of the things that was going on. So what did he do? He jumped right in his bag. Um, I'm the one who lends shot and I'm focused and I'm the one who lends the shot. I'm the one who lends the shot camera, you know, focus. I'm the one who lends the shot and I'm focused. Uh, soon as he posts up my click on it, 
then it leads to your viewings, then you see your viewings up. Soon, soon as he posts my click on it, then your viewings up. The way YouTube works, you know, when you post, you click on it, then the viewings up. Y'all know my numbers. You can look under any one of these videos. Y'all know my body of work. We ain't gotta get into that. But uh, soon as I post, as soon as he posts my click on it, then your viewings up. I thought it was fire. Uh, you ain't gotta believe in shit to get shot. That was fire. Uh, he said, them Drew Hill steps never made you better. He was talking about the Drew Hill steps that made uh, the Kid Chaos famous in one of his first earlier battles. Uh, this shit looked like Rodney King verdict and you call it for me? Like a beatdown. This looks like a... <laughs> uh, he said, we could have did this in Orlando and you wouldn't have bubbled there. You, we could have did this in Orlando and you wouldn't have bubbled there. That was fire. Um, I'm the exact opposite of chaos. I keep the peace. JC was cooking all through his first round. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, I'll tell you who I felt like won the battle towards the end. The first round is where a lot of the battle argument is going to come. But the first round, we're just going to put we're going to put a, a little note there to come. We're going to come back to the first. Uh, second round, Kid Chaos goes with an angle and... His anger was based on JC's image, like about his clothes, about how he carries himself, about his uh, Instagram followers versus Twitter followers. Like he had a heavy angle. Uh, clip shaped like a jar, but that bitch can close the door. I like that. Then he got into some clothes shit. He said, I got bars and I, I got bars and I can dance. Who care about getting bitches? He was talking about, you know, JC not having no hoes. Then he started talking about the IG and Twitter followers. Then he said, uh, have, you have yet to get a brand. Then he has some fire lines. He said, the lack of traits eradicates whatever splash you happen to make. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to Kid Chaos and the pen. His pen is superb. I love what he does. Um, that direct material, some of the angle in that second round to me, I don't really know if, like, it, I, we understood what you were saying, but, like, when it comes to JC, and especially what he had on today wasn't that bad, and I've seen battles where he's wore black t-shirts with white t-shirts under them nasty i get it but you know it is what it is so jc comes out his second round nigga this nigga starts black ken he starts wilding in the second i'm gonna just be short with you jc got the second before we even get into the bars i'm gonna just be honest with you like jc clear this is the clearest round of the battle i hated that you was talking about jc wearing old navy and h and m i didn't really give a fuck about what that nigga got on i didn't care but uh jc comes out he's blacking on he's wilding when i black lives matter all over the street nigga what when <laughs> oh, he, he he dropped the haymaker on you he said, I'm asking for the 12, like Vlad interviews. You know what I'm saying? The shotgun, pellets, the shot. JC starts wilding on this nigga, man. Let him fuck it, man. There's nobody in the chair. Don't even need to be nobody in the chair. JC starts wilding. Kid Chaos, I'm like, man, what are we doing here? I know you ain't about to let the vet just. He's wilding. Like, he's, he's dumping. In his second, he is definitely dumping. Till it's in memory of when they mention you. You new niggas keep forgetting. Obituary's got an image, too. You motherfuckers got a one. I'm too nice for you, niggas. Stop. I mean, I, I just was like, I just was hoping, like, man, Chaos, you're going to need some bars because JC is wilding. He said, uh, you need more than Drew Hill and Lou Williams to climb out of that seat than we can actually speak. Fire. He said, uh, you, if you quit right now, half of them will forget you started. Like, what? <laughs> if you quit right now, half of these niggas will forget you started. That shit was crazy. Uh, Wiles all through his uh, through his second round. Kid Chaos comes out his third round. Uh, can't coin anything special because you token now. You can't coin anything special because you token now. Uh, he said this nerd was certainly would teach certainly like he was going like teach certainly we were really like, he was really like flipping words and then he said Hercules Hercules you was a god but now you human he said hey Zeus I'll play Zeus and bring you down to earth I liked it um, then he said that you know he was talking about how JC you'll be what I could be if I stop caring and I don't try I liked it like I really really liked Kid Chaos third round Kid Chaos was cooking in his third JC third, 
He comes out, he has a line. I didn't want to put all the faces on one pole, but I told him no. Totem pole. We heard totem poles were lying for. I liked it though. It did resonate well with me. Uh, what's good to make it out your section just to make it back in sections? Like, what's good to make it out in one piece then not make it back? Oh yeah, this is my daughter. She drew, you know what I'm saying? Um, she, some extra paper, you know what I'm saying? But uh, what, what good is to make it out in sections just to make it back in sections? Uh, two ratchets engage and nothing's bigger miss. Nothing this bigger miss. The bigger miss line, I like the two. Uh, you are a caffeine appetizer. Act smack, I always take my chips and dip. Um, fire, fire. <laughs> These two had a fire battle. Um, before, like, I think after JC's second round, JC was doing, he was mad, because after the first round, he's like, I'm up 1 0. And then him and Kid Chaos would go back and forth. Then he's like, I'm up 2 0. Then these niggas had the most petty shouting match back and forth. 2 0. What'd you say? 2 0. No, nigga, 2 0. I'm up 1 0. 2 0. 2 0. Like, they was going back and forth. It was a healthy match. Um, this battle overall is going to be one of the better battles that I've seen in 2020. Um, I did screen record it. You should too. Um, it's fire. They, they had a dope matchup. Like, there's going to be people who feel like Kid Chaos won. I'm not mad at that. I really feel like JC got the battle. I, that's just me personally. I felt like, okay, I would give Kid Chaos the first round. I like the way his his angle, the first round angle, I loved it. Fire angle, took it to JC, broke him all the way down to the smallest molecule and talked about everything as far as with him not being where he should be as far as, you know, you the one with the pin, so stop letting people tell you where you're at. Uh, talking about the Sioux Surf, you know, neighborhood, you can't get in the house. Like, I just love Kid Chaos's uh, first round. Like, he, he has so many things. Uh, snatch your respect as a star. Uh, he had the line about, uh, he had the library line without no spine in your back. Like, it was fire, man. It, he, he, Kid Chaos, that's the way you bring it. Like, I liked what uh, Jada Nightwing did versus Shotgun Shook, but Shotgun Shook didn't fight. Like, he didn't bring a fight. Like, he just didn't want to do it. JC came here to show, to teach a lesson, to show that he shouldn't even be in front of you. Like, he showed, he came to lay the foundation down for this is how rookies versus vets is going to be. And I definitely liked what JC did. I overall, and this is just my personal opinion, everybody going to have the way they feel, and I get it. But I got JC winning the battle 2-1. I just feel like he showed that there was levels. Now, I get it if the tie, if his battle is close, or if it's even debatable, they're going to get a battle to the rookie. But I just feel like what JC did today, just my personal opinion, what JC did today was crazy. Now, we won as battle rap fans, you know what I'm saying? You could have Chaos winning. I can tell you why Chaos won. Okay, let's just flip the scenario. Kid Chaos won this battle because in the first round, I felt like he got past a JC fire round. In the third round, he was rapping and putting together dope ass similes and metaphors that made him seem like he really was hungry to take this battle. I didn't like his second round angle, but I mean, Kid Chaos definitely brought it in the third, so I got Kid Chaos winning. But I could, I could flip this on both scenarios, you know what I'm saying? But my, my true, true to self, um, I've been doing this as far as like uh, recapping and things for probably like three, four years now, and I think whenever I leave a battle, I kind of got a feeling of who I felt like won. I will watch the battle again. I will talk about the battle with Showtime SP. But I personally, and then on the stream, when they had the little voting system and all of that, they had they had JC like 70-30. Now, I know JC got a way bigger fan base than Kid Chaos, but just the other week, they, they, they usually get them where they're supposed to go. But um, overall... Dope battle, dope competition. If the rookies are going to bring it like that, I like it. I definitely like it. Kid Chaos, <laughs> salute to you. Uh, salute to your merchandise. Salute to your brand. Salute to, um, you know what I'm saying, coming up, making your way through the proving ground process and now having a rookies versus vets battle against the JC. You got no reason to hold your head now. You should hold your head up because you definitely got busy and showed us that you would survive. You know what I mean? That's all you all you had to do was what you did today. JC had to do what he did today. You just had to survive and not get mailed 
this. That's all you had to do. That And this is not going to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep this in tuck. You did what you did. To some people, you probably even won. So you don't get the L. You definitely get a W. You should get whoever you want next. And let's see if you continue to grow. Uh, the close angle, to me, it's just, like I said, everybody got their preference of the shit they like and shit they don't like. To me, it just didn't resonate well. I was just like, I really don't care what this nigga JC wear. Like, I, I, I mean, and even if you do do it, a whole round doing it to me was just a lot. It, it was just a lot. But your first round angle on the money. I fucked with it heavy. Uh, salute to everything that you got going on. You know, um, I see you with the merchandise. I know we spoke um, a couple times when you was getting your merchandise game together, and I see you got it popping now. Keep that shit going, man, because that's all you could do as a battler. Continue to build your brand, expand, and do what you do. I got nothing negative to say about you. I love what you did today. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game. Oh yeah, the click be wild and we heading to 60,000. Gang gang.